In this video, I'm gonna talk about Microsoft Copilot versus Gemini and which is better. It's a very quick and easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to compare these two AI tools and help you decide on which one is better for your specific use case. Both Microsoft Copilot and Gemini are AI tools designed to assist users, but they take very different approaches. So here's a breakdown. The core functionality of Microsoft Outlook is going to be specializing in code completion. It analyzes existing codes and suggests relevant code snippets, functions, or variables to expedite development, meaning that it is primarily aimed towards writers and coders. For Gemini, it is going to be focused on natural languages processing, and it means that it understands plain English instructions and can help with various text, text, like writing different creative text formats, translating languages, summarizing information, and even creating basic code. But because it doesn't work like Copilot, where it analyzes the rest of the code, it can be a little less useful on this subject. So the strengths for Copilot are going to be the accuracy known for suggesting accurate and relevant code based on the previous contact. So you need to have working code beforehand and the language support because it supports a wide range of programming languages. It integrates extremely well into various coding environments, such as Microsoft VS Code, for example. For Gemini, the primary focus and strengths are going to be the versatility, which can handle a broader range of tasks beyond coding. So you will be able to see these suggestions, for example, and it is going to help you. As you can see, you can specify certain things and it is going to construct something based on the prompt that you just sent. So the ease of use is wonderful because there is no coding knowledge required and it can help you brainstorm ideas just like this with a single click. The weaknesses from Copilot are mostly the learning curve that you need to require some understanding of coding concepts to effectively utilize the suggestions because sometimes they aren't going to be perfect and they might go against the purpose of what you are coding and the cost because it requires a subscription to use even though they offer a free version here. For Gemini, the biggest weaknesses are going to be the accuracy where code generation might be less accurate, but if you aren't using it for coding, then you will be mostly okay. It still has limited integration and it is still in development, unfortunately, so keep that in mind. So to summarize, choose Copilot if you are a dedicated programmer who prioritizes coding completion and integration into your coding environment and you use multiple languages. And choose Gemini if you are not a programmer and you want help with not only basic coding, but also other tasks such as writing, translating or basic coding like I just mentioned. So it is easy to use and you should consider this if you don't plan on coding much. I hope I was able to answer any questions that you had between using Microsoft Copilot and Google Gemini. If this video answered them, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.